Hey guys, if you're in I1, and I know I don't tend to talk about non-video game related stuff on this channel much, but this time I am going to talk about what's going on with the animation industry here. Well, more mostly just Fox, I think it is. Well, you know how certain characters like Cleveland, who's a black man on Family Guy, but he's voiced by a white voice actor. Well, apparently Fox, and I'm not sure if anyone else is doing this, but they're basically getting rid of all the actors who voice like people of color. Let's go with that. And they're replacing them with the people of color. Now, I'm a black man, okay? And I think this is dumb. Because after 19 years of someone voicing a character, he shouldn't be forced to get out of that character's role because they say, hey, yeah, we like your voice. Obviously, the people like your voice because it's been 19 years. But we really need to make sure that the voice behind the character matches the race. That's just messed up because the thing is that that would mean that Samuel Jackson couldn't have voiced for Boondocks. He voiced a white character in that. And, and Phil Lamar is the voice behind Samurai Jack despite being a black man. I don't care what the person looks like behind the voice, as long as the voice matches the character. What I mean is that Samurai Jack, he sounded good to me, even though he was voiced by a black man and not an Asian. So I don't think that, especially voice actors who have been doing the voice for so long, need to stop doing the voice if they sound right for it. I just think we're getting too far with this. I, I do know that the, vo and I think it's just the vocal minority, have complained, oh, why is this white guy voicing this black character? Or why is this whoever voicing an Asian character or whatnot? And at this point, I think we're just getting way too petty. See, I can understand with like Johnny Depp playing that Native American in The Lone Ranger. I can understand why people are mad at that because that's a live action movie. But there's a difference between a live action movie and animation because it shouldn't really matter who's voicing the people as long as they fit the character that they're voicing. Because you should pick voice characters based on talent, not based on race or ethnicity or anything else. Like for The Incredibles, I think a man voices Edna. Should that be made to be a woman? No, because his voice sounds good for the character. I don't care the gender, the ethnicity, the race. If your voice sounds good for a voice character, then you should be able to play that character. In fact, I really think that animation studios shouldn't even look at the person. What I mean is that the people who have to make the decision on which voice to go with should just hear the recordings of them and then decide which voice sounds best. Don't care about what the person looks like behind the voice, just which voice sounds best for the character. That's how I think they should do it. But anyway, what do you guys think about certain animation studios replacing characters like Cleveland from Family Guy because they are of a different race than the character they're voicing. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching my next video. Subscribe. May God bless you all.